support video, um, I want to show you how to calibrate the laser offset zeigen, on the Cicabo C65 flight cutter. Offset calibriert. This has to be done once in order to be able to achieve um, a um, precise contour cut. Schnitt, uh, genau What do we need? Of course the vinyl cutter itself, then our computer, computer a white sheet of paper and the plotting pan that's Stift. supplied with the vinyl cutter. First, we need to install the plotting pan instead of the regular cutter holder that is usually in the cutter. Good. Then go to software. Next, we open the DrawCut software on our computer and start the vinyl spooler from the toolbar. Vinyl spooler. Open on the top side. Open. Dann kann ich jetzt hier noch mal kurz in the connection, connection tab, we can then check the if the plotter is connected um, properly via USB. USB Make sure you see device, device connected in uh, this tab. Also Next, we also open the calibration tab on the right. There we can uh, do a laser here offset here calibration quick or a laser, quick quick or a laser offset calibration offset full. full. For the laser offset full calibration full, we will need to print um, an A4 sheet and then the calibration will be done with that sheet. Uh, with the quick calibration, all we need is our plotting pad. Uh, from my experience, the uh, result is perfectly fine with the quick calibration, so we'll stick to that for now. After you open the uh, quick calibration, uh, you will get the instructions, so load the cutter with some material and then set the origin anywhere on the material and click start. So that's what we're doing now, putting in... Uh, white piece of paper, setting the origin point. You can easily set your origin point by moving the cutting head with the arrow keys and then push the OK button once you're done. Once we're done with that, um, we just click OK in the software, at the start button, and then the plotter will automatically draw a little cross on the white the sheet of paper. And then it will activate the little red laser dots next to that cross. And all we need to do now is uh, move the laser in the center of the cross in order to calibrate. And this is not done on the plotter itself, it's done with the arrow keys on your computer. So make sure your computer is right next to the plotter. And uh, halt then you just move the, and, um, in darum, the red die Mitte von uh, dot da with your arrow keys treffen. and try to move it into the center okay. of the cross. So, und damit bin Once the uh, cross is in the center und of the cross here and we confirm with the OK button, okay um, the plotter is calibrated in the software, so now the software knows the correct uh, laser offset. Um, and now we can start doing contour cutting with the C65 line cutter. Um, the method is exactly the same for all C5 machines, so it also works on the C120 Hello together. Um, in this support video, I want to show you how to calibrate the laser on the Cicabo T65 flight cutter. Um, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the laser off the Cicabo T65 flight cutter. I'm going to show you how to calibrate the laser off the Cicabo T65 flight cutter. I'm going to show you how to calibrate the laser off the Cicabo T65 flight cutter. I'm going to show you how to calibrate the laser off the Cicabo T65 flight cutter. I'm going to show you how to calibrate the laser off the Cicabo T65 flight cutter. Machine. What we need is the vinyl cutter itself, a uh, draw cut pro software, a white sheet of paper, and our plotting pan, which is supplied with the machine. So, first step is just to insert the plotting pan instead of the regular cutter holder into the vinyl cutter. Once we're done, we open the draw cut pro software on our computer, and uh, there from the toolbar, we open the vinyl spooler. 
in Vinyl Spooler. And the then from the Vinyl Spooler, we open our Lapis Q controller. Lapis Q is the uh, contour cutting system that is uh, in all the Zucabo T2 series machines. From the Lapis Q controller, we click on Cutter and select uh, Auto Laser Offset Calibration. The software now asks us to insert a blank sheet of paper and position the plotting pen somewhere around the center of the sheet of paper. It doesn't need to be exactly in the center, just somewhere in the area of the center. So we just put in the sheet of paper and close our pinch rollers. And then we set our origin point of the cutting head with the arrow keys on the cutter somewhere in the center. Once we're done with that, we need to confirm that the sheet is inserted in the cutter in the draw cut software. The machine will then first do a little measurement. And then uh, we need to confirm again that we're now ready for the auto calibration. And now the machine will start uh, to automatically calibrate itself. So it will uh, draw some lines on the sheet of paper. And afterwards, it will try to read those lines and this way calibrate the laser offset. So, das war's dann jetzt auch. Jetzt so, now we're done with the calibration. That's it. Um, it calibrated this device at 22.96 millimeters and 5 millimeters. In the cutter settings, we can now see the values that have been stored in the draw And uh, in the next step, I can write these uh, values into the cutter's memory. So next time I'm connecting a different draw cut, uh, I can just read them from the cutter memory. In order to do that, I need to click Advanced in the Lapis Q controller and select Write Laser Offset to the Cutter Memory, click on it, and now it's done. The main purpose of this feature is when you are using multiple Sakawa vinyl cutters, so a T60 vinyl cutter plus a flatbed cutter, every machine has a slightly different offset. And as you don't always want to recalibrate this way, you can simply read the right offset from the machine, so it helps you either if you switch machines from time to time, but also if you're using multiple computers to control the cutter. Um, so you always just get the right value from the machine and you only have to do it once for each machine and then store the value in the machine's memory. The feature of writing the offset into the cutter memory is only available on the Lapis Q controller and only works with the Sakabo T2 series and also the flatbed cutters, um, the rotor roll label cutter and the sheet label cutter. Hello together. I hope you enjoyed our video of uh, how to calibrate the laser offset on different Cicabo cutters. Um, now I'm here to, to answer your question whenever you want. Okay. Um, okay, one question. Can you please increase the volume of the English translator? Um, yeah, really sorry we couldn't do that uh, interactively, but uh, thanks for the input. We'll try that for the next video. Oliver, do, do, uh, do we have this later on, on the internet somewhere where we can hear louder or not? Yes, correct. Uh, okay. we'll, we'll publish the sessions on the internet later, so then you will get the English translation at a higher volume. We can arrange that. So, do we have any other questions? Okay, I got one question here. Um, what will happen if the offset is not set correctly? Okay, when the, the laser offset is not correctly, or even uh, when you did not do the calibration at all, um, the cutter would um, not cut the line which is supposed to be. So you would make a print, print out and send the, the cutting chop, and then the cutter would um, send on a complete different place uh, than it's supposed to be from you.
from your side. That's that's the reason why we have to do this calibration once when we start using the, the cutter with uh, concerning contour cut. Okay, then um, another question we just got in. Um, what is the difference between a knife offset and the laser offset? Poor. <laughs> The knife offset is, of course, um, is concerning the, the angle of the, the blade itself. So it's the distance between the, the middle of the blade holder. Um, maybe, yeah, okay, the middle of the blade holder, I was going to, to get one now. Um, the blade offset is the difference between the middle, the direct in the middle of the blade holder, and uh, the point where the the blade, the edge of the blade is. So that's the distance between those two points, and it's uh, different on uh, different types of blades. So on a 30 degree blade or a 45 degree blade, or um, a 60 degree blade, uh, blade, you you have a different uh, blade offset. And the laser offset is. Uh, the distance between um, the sensor and the middle of the blade holder. So and you have to calibrate both to get correct uh, results in cutting or contour cutting. I hope this is quite cl clear that way. Okay, then another question. Um, how do you read the uh, offset from the plotter once you've, you've written it into the plotter? Okay, for this I will go to the software and you can see it on the screencast now. Um, first thing you have to do, of course, is open the wireless spooler. And um, here the Lapis Q controller, and then you go to the advanced min menu, like when you write the laser offset on cutter memory. The next step is here, read the laser offset on, uh, from the cutter memory. Um, in this case, uh, no cutter is connected to this um, computer, that's why um, yeah, we do not have the opportunity to read it now, but in general it's working like this. Okay. Do we have any more questions? Let's take a look. Um, there we have another question. Um, after calibrations, can we cut darker color vinyl? After the calibration, um, mm. it's not really a, has to do something with, um, with the um, color of the vinyl. So it's really, um, the calibration is really only the distance between uh, the sensor and uh, the middle of the blade holder and not um, about the, uh, the sensitivity of the sensor itself. So nothing to do with it. Okay. Any more questions uh, from our viewers on Facebook, YouTube, or uh, on our website? Seems like we have no more questions right now. Let's wait another 20 to 30 seconds because uh, we have a little delay uh, on the live stream. So if anyone has a question, we're happy to answer them. Otherwise, uh, we see you at uh, 3 o'clock for the next session uh, about the digital finishing machines in German and then in English at uh, four o'clock for the digital finishing machines. Okay, thanks for your attention. See you.